Do you know someone who has rheumatoid arthritis? Or maybe do you have it? If so, it sucks, doesn't it? Well, we totally agree with you. Rheumatoid arthritis has some awful effects on your physical mobility, but that's not all. Did you know that it can also affect your cardiovascular health and is interrelated with heart diseases? Gene therapy for heart failure is currently being researched. Heart failure is a major public health hazard that affects an estimated 1% of the Western world, including over 5 million Americans, with over 500,000 new cases diagnosed each year. So what is heart gene therapy for the heart? By the end of this video, you will realize that gene therapy for the heart is more beneficial than you thought it was. Hi, how are you? We hope you're having a great day. Welcome to Scope Care where we talk about health tips and other information to make your lifestyle better, healthier, and happier. For this video, we'll be talking rheumatoid arthritis, its connection with your cardiovascular health, why it puts you at a greater risk for heart disease, and what you can do to protect yourself. Before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll get updated of future uploads. It would also help us out to give this video a like and share it with your friends. There is a lot of helpful information for you to know about rheumatoid arthritis and why we think you should know each and every detail you can about it. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin. Is it only swollen and painful joints? When you have rheumatoid arthritis, commonly shortened as RA, you must be concerned about more than just swollen and aching joints. People with RA are nearly twice as likely as those without the disorder to suffer from heart disease. Having RA increases your chances of having a serious cardiovascular tragedy, such as a heart attack or stroke. Just because your joints are inflamed does not mean that you are doomed to develop cardiac problems. You can still maintain your heart and blood vessels healthily by getting regular screenings and taking preventive steps. Rheumatoid arthritis and heart disease. What's behind the connection? Chronic inflammation and common risk factors work together to raise your risk. Cytokines are inflammatory chemicals that cause joint deterioration in RA and blood vessel damage in cardiovascular disease, otherwise known as CVD. Inflammation creates plaque buildup in the arteries, which gradually narrows and limits blood flow and is the leading cause of heart attacks and strokes. Another reason RA patients are more prone to develop heart disease is that they share risk factors such as high blood pressure, metabolic syndrome, obesity, smoking, and abnormal lipids. Blood pressure levels increase in people diagnosed with RA due to a variety of causes, including a lack of exercise and medications used to treat the disease such as NSAIDs and steroids. People with RA also have less elastic arteries, which can constrict, allowing less blood to flow, which will also raise your blood pressure. Nearly 40% of people with RA have metabolic syndrome, compared to fewer than 20% of the general population. Obesity, high triglycerides and cholesterol, high blood pressure and raised blood sugar are all indicators that increase the risk of CVD. Exercise is difficult with sore joints and a lack of physical activity can lead to weight gain. Obesity is associated to CVD risk as well as cardiovascular risk factors such as high blood pressure and diabetes. Fat cells also produce inflammatory chemicals that contribute to overall inflammation and the risk of CVD. People who have RA are more likely to smoke than those who do not have the condition. Smoking not only has been related to more aggressive joint deterioration, but it also hastens blood vessel damage and leads to artery narrowing. Smokers with RA are 50% more likely to suffer a cardiovascular incident than non-smokers with RA. RA has an interesting influence on blood lipids or fats. The lipid paradox refers to the fact that people with RA have high levels of triglycerides, low levels of low-density lipoproteins known as LDL or bad cholesterol, and low levels of high-density lipoproteins known as HDL or good cholesterol. Although low LDL cholesterol is beneficial to the heart, 
Low HDL cholesterol and high triglycerides are risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Before we go on, what are your thoughts about what you've learned so far in regards to rheumatoid arthritis, heart disease, and cardiovascular health? Have you heard of them before? Do you think it is important to know more about RA in order to take better care of one's cardiovascular health? Let us know in the comments below. Next up is reducing your risks, but how? Taking the disease-modifying anti-humatic medicine, or DMARD, prescribed by your rheumatologist, whether methotrexate, a biologic, or another medication, is one of the greatest methods to protect your heart. Controlling RA inflammation appears to lessen the risk of heart attack, stroke, and other CVD events. When it comes to lifestyle interventions, whether you have RA or not, the same advice applies. It is critical to maintain an active lifestyle. Participating in aerobic or strengthening exercises on most days of the week can protect your blood vessels, aid in weight loss, and lower your cardiovascular disease risk. There is also evidence that exercise can help reduce inflammation. Eating well and maintaining a healthy diet are equally vital. Increase your intake of fruits and vegetables. Consume more fatty fish, such as salmon and tuna, which contain anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acids. Also, avoid saturated and trans fats, which contribute to weight gain and increase the risk of heart disease. Also, remember to keep your stress under control. Relaxation techniques such as deep breathing and meditation might help you decrease stress. And if you're a smoker, you better quit sooner rather than later, if not right now. Stop smoking. It can be difficult to quit smoking, but it is not impossible. To help you with quitting, ask your doctor to propose an intervention such as nicotine replacement, medicine, or counseling. It is also critical to be careful of your vital numbers, so keep a close eye on them. Get your blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol tested on a regular basis. If they're too high, try lowering them with diet, exercise, and if necessary, medication. Finally, you should constantly look for alternative pain relieving measures. Although you may rely on NSAIDs and steroids to treat pain and reduce swelling, these medications can increase your risk of heart disease. To manage your pain, try to utilize the smallest dose for the shortest amount of time possible. Alternative pain treatment options such as heat, ice, or physical therapy can be used. Monitoring your heart health. When you have rheumatoid arthritis, you should pay careful attention to your heart. Inquire with your rheumatologist and primary care provider about the types of screening you require. Regular blood pressure, blood sugar, and cholesterol testing should be performed as part of an examination of your heart health. Many doctors and specialists advocate screening for cardiovascular disease at least once every five years, as well as if you change your rheumatoid arthritis medication. To assess your heart health, your doctor may do a stress test, ethocardiography, otherwise known as EKG. Keep an eye out for signs of heart disease such as shortness of breath, chest pain, or arm pain. Inform your doctor as soon as possible. In the United States, heart disease is the leading cause of death. Monitoring your heart health and understanding how to prevent heart attacks and other cardiovascular disorders are critical components of your overall health and fitness. Many individuals only consider seeing a cardiac expert when they are experiencing symptoms, but waiting until a significant condition develops and puts your heart health at risk. Even if you don't think you have an issue, seeing a cardiologist on a regular basis could save your life. A cardiologist is a doctor who specializes in conditions of the heart. These doctors have extensive training and skills in detecting and treating cardiovascular diseases, as well as providing exceptional care to patients with heart concerns. If you have high blood pressure or cholesterol, or if your family has a history of heart disease, you should consult a cardiologist. A trusted and skilled cardiologist can advise you on heart disease prevention, assess your risk of heart issues, and get you back on track to living a full and productive life after being diagnosed with a dangerous heart condition. And that's the video. We've discussed the connection between rheumatoid arthritis and cardiovascular disease. It's better to know how to protect your heart health than be sorry later. 
Now, perhaps you know that rheumatoid arthritis isn't only limiting your mobility, but it is also an internal threat that can harm you in many ways. Thankfully, through this video, you've learned how to protect yourself from its harmful effects towards you and your heart. Now it's your turn. If you know other facts and trivia about rheumatoid arthritis and cardiovascular health, comment down below. Let's talk about it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll get updated of our future uploads. Again, this is Scope Care, and we will see you soon in our next video. Thanks for watching.